The Royal Marine recruits of 924 Troop are enduring the most gruelling military training in the world, and it's becoming ever more realistic. Charlie team, go on! In three months' time, they'll be deployed to a real war on the front line in Afghanistan. Oh, no. Oh. But Terry John's world fell apart when he failed the crucial speed march and had to leave 924 Troop and his friends. Now, under medical scrutiny, Terry must face up to a shocking truth. And Second Lieutenant Bertie Carr is already on his way to Afghanistan, just three days after finishing his own training. When the rounds start coming in, then, you know, you've got to take that little condor moment and, uh, and, and make the right decision. I'm ready for it. That doesn't mean it's not nerve-wracking. You know? <laughs> uh, I'm ready. The only way into Kajaki is by helicopter. This remote and beleaguered British outpost in southern Afghanistan is surrounded on all sides by the Taliban. And it's to here that 2nd Lieutenant Bertie Carr has been posted. Right, the, um, we're getting stood to because uh, there's a bit of gunfire and uh, it sounds like a couple of mortar rounds going off. Um, don't really know what's happening. But this is sort of, you know, the daily thing here. Virtually all civilians have fled the area. Only the Taliban remain, hiding in and firing from a honeycomb of deserted compounds. The first thing I ever did with my troop, we went out on a day patrol and uh, got shot at four times. They were real bullets, you know, sort of going, you hear the, the, the whiz as it passes just over your head and you know it's uh, aimed at you. Yeah. And, uh, it was, it was quite a buzz, to be honest. It sounds a bit sick, but yeah. you get quite a, a, a rush from it. If you go out, I would say, yeah, nine times out of ten, something would kick off. Yeah. Which is uh, great, because we're out on patrol tomorrow, so... <laughs> Has anyone got any um, loose ammo? No, mate. Box. Should be one more bloke. Back in Devon, 924 recruit troop are halfway through training, but 32 of the original 50 have dropped out through injury or failing to make the grade. So what you've got now is the basics. When you get to your units, those that are successful and pass out of training, you'll get retaught exactly how they want to do it, and that's part of unit life when you get... The ones that eventually get through will be sent to fight in the same unit as Bertie Carr on the front line in Afghanistan. You'll jump out the back of the wagon and you'll know if it's left or right flanking, Delta team holding fast, putting down covering fire, Charlie team into the assault if need be. Back on the wagon. Just drop your leg into my hands, OK? You also get a pain sensation. Yeah. Terry John has been forced to leave 924 Troop because of a mysterious problem with his legs when it comes to speed marching. Is it starting to tighten up? Yes. Yeah? Yes, sir. OK. You're still smiling, though, which is a good thing. A bit of cheerfulness and adversity. So he's been put into Hunter Company, where they try to mend broken recruits. When I go speed marching and I get to that point, these muscles don't give me no movement. It's just my, just here, lifting down there, and just plodding it on the ground, just bam, bam, that's all I do. And then after a while, up here it gets tired as well. Like, my whole leg is just not moving. That's just it. Terry's even been referred to a civilian specialist to try and establish what the problem is. But he still misses his old troop, especially as his friends have just started tactical training for the front line. 
should have been there. For all that action in the field, that's what, that's what you get trained for all the time, ain't it? To be a soldier, ain't it? Not being there with them lads, oh, it would be well fun to look at some of their faces during that attack, honestly. So, yeah, the grenades going off and the machine guns going. As if you're like in Afghanistan or somewhere already, oh, yeah. that's the feeling. That's the feeling I long for, like, but... action. It's a tough challenge for any recruit to complete training with his original troop failing essential tests or suffering an injury, and they are sent to a junior troop for retraining. Fire position are you in, fucking Mongwell? Get down, leave the position! Get on, Williams! Only the toughest and the luckiest remain as troop originals, like James Williams, who so far passed every test he's taken. When you used to talk about being an original, it was like, yeah, I'd like to be an original just to say, you know, I'm an original, it was a cool thing to do. Now, I'd like to be an original because I'd like to get this over and done with as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah. Because I uh, fucking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. When we've done this shit and knowing that Terry, if he carries on and gets through it, he's got things like this to come, whereas we could be through it and done. Get it done, get it over and done with. Lads, keep the rounds going down. Your opponents are assaulting their position. Head two section. We need to push up to the fence, secure up to that fence line and arch to our front. The following day, on a high peak called Normandy that overlooks the British HQ in Kajaki, gunners and snipers stand ready to provide cover for Bertie Carr, who is about to lead his men, known as 11 Troop, deep into enemy territory. The FSG is up there, they've got optics, they've got a sniper up there with them. I'm um, checking out the objectives before we get there. The lads have put it at. Um, 60 40 odds on uh, contact, so uh, let's see what happens. Right. <laughs> okay, you went over there ready. We'll set off. Let's go. Hello, 3 0 Alpha, this is still Zero. Hello, it's still Zero, this is still 2 0 and Alpha. It's cool sign crossing the bridge now. Over. Once 11 Troop cross this bridge, they'll be in enemy territory. Can I have an indication of where those shots came from? Already the firing has started. Right now it's indirect and distant, but there's no telling when it might become direct and deadly. Bert is leading a reconnaissance patrol through deserted villages and compounds to gather intelligence on enemy positions. They just lie in position all day, all night, and just wait till we pop out and uh, they can engage us. No, that's all right. Uh, once we're behind Roshan Hill, we're in cover. From that area. Uh, 3,000 miles away, 924 Troop have just crossed the Channel to start their battlefield tour of the D-Day beaches in Normandy and to get their first taste of core history. Now, the early hours of the 6th of June, as we know, this great armada of ships have left UK. At 5.30 in the morning, the gunships opened up and bombarded this coastline with a mass array of weaponry. Not accurate, but enough to shake the enemy and hopefully hit the positions. And they would have to fight their way across the 400 metres of open beach. But they paid a heavy price. And we see these people that pay the price in the cemetery this afternoon. So sheer motivation, determination, bravery, the will to succeed. And that's what we look for in the core. Get contact from the right now. Over. Let's get into cover. In Kajaki, 11 troop have come under direct fire. Uh, contact, ground swinging over our heads. The Royal Marine gunnery positions on the high ground, who can see the enemy from their vantage point, immediately try to suppress them with heavy machine guns and sniper fire. Bertie just three weeks out of training, must now decide whether to withdraw or push on. Eyes on. Yeah, they're engaging them. I'm happy to crack on, because that's... Uh... Right, lads, normally are going to be engaging over our heads, so we're going to crack on to Caligol. Let's uh, get going now. Out. 
some of those cool signs oh, spread out of that trench, too, too bunched up there. To reach the compound they want to search, 11 Troop now has to cross 500 yards of open ground. All right, just keep an eye on them. Bobby, we'll wait for me, lad. Same order of march, and we're going to move across. OK, if you look to your front, you see the compound that we're heading for? Yep. We're heading straight for that in single file. The threat as we move across there is obviously to the left, so be aware of that. And as always, just keep looking for your next bit of cover. With covering fire from the high ground, Bertie leads his troop forward. They haven't even reached their objective yet, but already it's hotting up. All right, stay spread out, so spread back. <sighs> Three barnacles secure rear. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, you secure it. I'm just hoping that on the left have got eyes on our position as well. Royal Marines officer Bertie Carr and his troop have arrived at the enemy compounds that need to be searched. Now it's a matter of getting in. Jacko, can you kick those doors in? Will they come off the hinges over? It's a known firing position, kick it in. Five rounds on that target and then we uh, went to back off. Almost immediately, the Marines find evidence of enemy activity. Shell in there. It looks quite into its own. No, there's a shovel beside it. There's a shovel beside it. I wouldn't touch it at all. It's got a possible firing position, um, which was definitely hidden. It's got arcs onto uh, our location and our patrol routes over. As you can see, we're now stood in the Allied war grave at Bayeux. More importantly for us, there are 152 Royal Marines buried in this place. Okay? Now, people will make a lot of the Royal Marines being elite. Being elite isn't just about the training you receive. It's all about tradition as well. One of the biggest traditions we have is the tradition of family. You are part of something special. Right? And we pride ourselves in looking after our own and our family. Now, these guys that lay here today they are dead, but they are most definitely not forgotten. And they will never be forgotten. I would like you to place your cross on the headstone of a Royal Marine. Hey, look. He's 19. He's 19. They didn't show us this on the recruiting video, or did they? <laughs> 21. Jeez. Same name, same age. Yeah. Maybe we don't end up like this. Years do not darken nor shadow the only beautiful memories we have of him. Which makes you proud. So whatever happens, you know, you'll never be forgotten. That's important. I put one on a sergeant who was my age, 24, sergeant. And he, he was the 6th of June, but he died. I mean, I don't know how he died, but, you know, the 6th of June was the landings, wasn't it? and to, you know, just come straight off and that's it. I think that's pretty... It's pretty bad, you know? The uh, casualties in Afghanistan. Not just those, them as well, I mean... They're fighting the war too, aren't they? I mean... You've got to give anyone respect if they're fighting for their own country. I do anyway, I mean, some people might not, but... I do. In Kajaki, Bertie Carr and his troop continue to investigate and map suspect enemy positions, knowing they could be targeted at any time. Yeah, boss, isn't it? Yeah, a couple of spent cases in there. Spent cases? Yeah. What size? Big, fucking, bigger than 0.5. Called Jackson. Uh, just off to your left, there's all these little uh, huts and things. One looks a bit suspicious, got a little curtain on it, like a lying up position. Can you go and uh, check it out? Any one of these dwellings could contain Taliban fighters. No chances are taken. We're coming down through a town called Caligal, which uh, we know has been used um, as a as firing, as a firing positions, enemy firing positions, with small arms and mortars. You see the mortar arms there, and so we just come to uh, to push down and, uh, and check if we can find these firing positions. Uh, 
and uh, just to dominate the ground, show that we can, you know, come out and, and uh, yeah. sort of uh, walk around freely. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just checking suspicious places. Nothing suspicious in there. There's a couple of badminton rackets around the back. Boss! One of the patrol notices some disturbed earth and thinks it discovered an enemy firing point. Sir? I mean, this is a suspected firing position of, of uh, enemy mortars. So. 81 millimetre M. That sounds like a weapon system. That's definitely a weapon system. Right. From the top of that uh, feature over there. But uh, if you look at the the the, uh, the stone wall, the closest to us, directly behind it, there's a small green hill. Yeah. Top of that, every so often, there's somebody that pokes his head out, quite clearly in black. Essentially, the left-hand side of the peak of that hill. I'll keep an eye on it. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, see. Keep eyes on. Yeah. Hey. It's, uh, just digging for... yeah. We're getting dicked from the north. Uh, we're just checking it out, over. Terry John, so desperate to be part of the Royal Marine family, has been told to report to the principal medical officer. I don't know how good you are at anatomy, but I'm just going to show you something, OK? This is the lower leg. All of the different muscles are encased in a special sheath or bag. Unfortunately, what happens in some people is the muscle swells up and there's nowhere for it to go, and it becomes very tight and very painful, and that's, what, that's why you're getting pain and numbness in the legs. Yes, we call it compartment syndrome. It is possible that, along with some physiotherapy, we can make this better, okay? But it's, it's a pretty tall order. I better tell you that right from the beginning. It's actually a difficult condition to treat. It's not something that you can just say, oh, I'll put a pair of inserts into my feet and magically I'll be better. It's, it takes work. OK, crack on. OK, so thank you very much, sir. If you get compartment syndrome, no matter what we do, quite the large majority end up out of training. Unless he's very lucky, it's not, good. It's not a good outlook, I'm afraid. It's a shame, but there we go. I'd love to, you know, go home, get married and all that, knowing that I have the green beret, knowing that, you know, my kids are going to, you know, come get born and find out their dad is like Royal Marine doing good shit. It's a tough game. Play it doing. <laughs> Boss! Right. It's a ghost town, isn't it? Suddenly, the Taliban open up with a burst of fire aimed directly at Eleven Troop. Do you all in cover? Yeah. Let me move around. Five five support the ground. Can you get up there? See if Wait, two searching on me. Three seconds. Come under fire. Two zero alpha. bastards. Contact. Wait out. Is there any chance we can go back around no. to the north and just see if we can flush anyone out? I'll try. try. Bertie asked permission from headquarters to launch an attack. Knowledge, yeah, just get your ass back. Uh, Alpha, Roger, out. They're being uh, fucking boring. They just want us to head back in there. Let's go and watch Star Wars. Let's go and watch Star Wars. Star Wars on tonight? Well, we can always put that. No, we watched Star Wars the other week. Oh, we can go from Indiana what Jones. What about Hitchhiker's Guy at the Galaxy? Indiana I've seen that. Jones. I haven't put Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. Can I watch Pirates 2 again? No, no, no. no. Watch my desk to make sure it's not mine as well. Why do we have to watch that? I've got mine. Can we. Yeah. Over the side of the <laughs> this is what it's all about, boss. <laughs> Star Wars. Star Wars is there. Oh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? We're going to go back and watch Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> I want to watch Ghost Point Blank. <laughs> what did I tell you? <laughs> Fuck, I never get my own way. They're sending a fire mission in and all. I think it might go up. The patrol heads back, at first across dead ground. That is, ground protected from direct fire by surrounding hills. Firing right over our head. Once 11 troop reach the exposed ground, they have no alternative but to speed march across it. 600 yards under enemy fire. Close them up quickly, I want them across this open ground quickly over. Rear half, let's Hang out for the lads at the back. Uh, still there. Good bit of fizz, lads. 
Taliban. 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 Taliban.